Hello, today I want to show you this electronic version of the Newman motor. The first time I see this motor was on Lead Models channel and well, Newman said that his motor produced more energy than it consumed, which is obviously false. However, it has a very interesting design, so in this video you will learn how to build your own Newman motor. We need the following materials. A small signal transistor, an LED, a large paper clip, magnet wire, a couple of neodymium magnets, a small block of wood, this is from a Jenga game, a wood stick and some toothpicks. The first thing we make is the rotor. The axis is made with the wire from the paper clip and the two magnets are centered on the axis. The rotor can move freely on this base that we made with the Jenga block, the wood sticks and the toothpicks. The toothpicks are put in this way to serve as a guide to wind the coils. We will wind one coil at the up position and another below. The coils are now in place. The upper coil has 150 turns and the lower coil has 250. Both are wound in the same direction, clockwise when viewed from above, and it is important to identify the beginning and end of each coil. My coils start at the left and end at the right. Here we have the schematic of the motor. It's very simple. LED, transistor and the two coils. The upper coil start and end and lower coil start and end. And the neodymium magnet in the middle. Okay, the motor is ready. I made all the connections of the coils with the transistor and LED according to the diagram. And now let's see it working. Oh, I also added this little propeller used for decoration. I'm going to set the power supply at 1 volt. It is enough for the motor to run. And I'm going to give it a little initial push. And there it is. I'm going to increase the voltage and of course it will run faster. This motor draws very little current, only 10 milliamps at a voltage of 1 volt. So we can run it from a supercapacitor. This is a 10 farad supercapacitor. So I'm going to connect it to the power supply to charge the supercapacitor first at a voltage of 2 volts. So okay, the supercap is charging. We can now start the motor. Okay, now we have two balls at the super cap and we can disconnect the power supply and the motor is running only from the super cap. And the charge is enough to make it run for several minutes.
Let's see how the motor works. Remember that when the magnet turns, its magnetic field induces a current in the coils. When this coil is activated by the magnetic field of the magnet, the current goes to the base of the transistor and the, trans the transistor turns on. So the current from the power supply goes to the upper coil through the transistor and then to ground. So this coil produces a magnetic field that pushes the magnet and makes it turn. Then the coil below deactivates and the transistor turns off until the magnet turns again and activates the coil below again. And the cycle repeats with every turn of the magnet. Of course, the magnetic field of the magnet also induces a current in the upper coil and this current is what makes the LED light on. Thank <laughs> you.